Hello YouTube, I thought I'd talk today about the roller moss removal rake. I got it right. I generally don't do moss removal. Um, I do have a guy who, uh, if a lawn does require extensive work, then I shall. Uh, call upon his services, uh, Jack from Kingsbury Lawn Care. I've been using this rag now for about three or four years now. It's really just something I use um, just to remove moss from small lawns, um, just a little bit extra I do for the client. Unfortunately I can't show you the end result of this particular lawn because we had a heat wave shortly afterwards. This was just as uh, the UK went into lockdown so this I think this was about a week before and uh, I couldn't get any other materials or anything like that so the lawn did struggle a little bit this year um, I'm hoping next year to do the job properly maybe get a proper scarifier out I do have an electric one I don't have a motorized one um, purely because it's not something that I do or very regularly as part of my service for small jobs like this, um, maybe this one's a little bit on the larger side for this particular rake. It did take uh, a few visits to get all the moss out. I think altogether there's about 25 bags of moss, 25 rubber bags. Um, but for small jobs it is ideal. It's small, it's in the van all the time. Um, and it's just convenience, that's all. And uh, you know, you get a little bit of moss in the, in the lawn. Not a lawn covered in moss, but a little bit of moss then it's ideal just to remove the moss and then uh, and give it a bit of aeration. It's a lot of hard work, I wouldn't recommend doing these on the lawn this size, it was just one of those things where you know it's for a, a set of elms houses and there are two lawns, this one is the larger of the two lawns and it, it was just getting worse and worse the moss and uh, I just figured, you know what, there's a little bit extra I'll get rid of all the moss and try and get the grass to green up a little bit Being part of the multi-tool system it's really ideal, you can see how small it is so having something like that in a van just floating around um, it's a lot more convenient than having a large scarifier it just means that uh, when problems arise you can just quickly get it out of the van, give it a rake over. This is um, this particular lawn was uh, a lot more work than originally planned. As with all Wolf Garden uh, tools, it's built very well. Built to last. As I say, I've had this one for about three years and I've not had a single issue. I haven't used one without wheels. I know they do uh, a scarifier without wheels. I do find that the wheels just sort of um, make it easier on you because you're not digging in. I think uh, the one with the wheels, this is only sort of a lot of guesswork, but my guess is is that uh, if you didn't have the wheels on, it would dig in a lot more and be a lot more harder work, go in a lot deeper. As you can see it's removing a lot of moss, as I say there was about 25-30 bags in total, rubble sacks. So I recorded this footage uh, earlier this year as I say just before lockdown and uh, you know, I just thought I'd show you what the uh, how the tool works and what it's like um, if you're interested in doing little jobs nothing major, then this is uh, ideal for you. So thank you for watching, I do apologise for the motorbikes in the background, I'm currently in a caravan in Scotland at the moment, 
enjoying a well earned break hence the uh, the kilts <laughs> so far it's been over a week and I've not worn a pair of trousers yet anyway thanks for watching please press that like and subscribe button and come back for some more videos and just remember there are other videos on this channel that you might be interested in thank you for watching